These are the two best smartphones of the two biggest smartphone manufacturers of the world and I compared them in every single category and there is one clear winner. Both smartphones are really big and really boxy and really heavy. And this video is quite grey because Samsung and Apple have discovered titanium for themselves and titanium is grey. This extremely hard metal both makes the smartphones very resistant to scratches and dents. And when you see them side by side, you could almost think that they come out of the same factory, which they actually are. I find the S24 Ultra is a little bit less comfortable to hold because of the shape and the weight is also a little bit higher. On the other hand, I think the camera element is better. It sticks out only half as much as the one of Apple and it does not accumulate quite as much dirt around it. Apple often brags about having the most stable glass in the industry called Ceramic Shield, but Gorilla Glass Armor on the S24 Ultra is clearly more resistant, both to scratches and dents. I could go into very exact detail of why that is, but at the end, all that counts is that the iPhone will have some scratches in one or two years and the S24 Ultra probably won't or only have very, very few, very tiny scratches because of it. But the iPhone is a little bit more water resistant. Samsung is the clear winner when it comes to the displays because not only the S24 Ultra is 10% sharper, it's also 30% brighter and because the display glass has 75% fewer reflections, the black levels and the contrast are way more deep. Also, there's just a discrete hole at the top and it is clear to me which smartphone I would rather use to watch videos. Both have very thin symmetrical bezels. Apple has a 3D facial recognition at the top in the dynamic island, which is reliably fast and smooth. But so is Samsung's ultrasonic fingerprint sensor. The speakers on both are great, but I think that Apple is a little bit fuller and deeper. These two phones represent the peak of smartphone processor technology and they both have the latest tech in them. If you compare them directly, Apple has 5% more CPU and Samsung 16% more GPU power. So both are capable of running all the games and maximum settings at full frame rates, both open apps instantly and both have smooth animations. It's really splitting hairs, but if I have to be honest, I think that the iPhone feels a little bit more fluid, a little bit more direct, maybe because of iOS, but you can tell sometimes that the Galaxy stutters. On the other hand, sometimes I need to restart apps on the iPhone that never happened with the S24 Ultra in my case. And Samsung gives seven years of software upgrades. Apple does not tell you how long they will support the iPhone. In the past, it was roughly six years, but if I have to pick one, a guaranteed update of seven years, and one that is maybe six years, maybe even longer, I will take the guaranteed one for sure. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of either of the softwares. I don't like iOS or Samsung One UI because I think both are a little bit bloated, a little bit too rich in features, if that makes sense. I think they're a little bit too complicated nowadays. But iOS is a little bit more uniform and you can customize quite a bit. For example, the lock screen, but Samsung just copied that feature. Well, not in a perfect way, but they did. On the other hand, Samsung's operating system seems a little bit more mature. Everything is a little bit better optimized for the large screen and the organization of the notifications is just better. And there is a lot of artificial intelligence, many, many, many features. Check out my full review if you want to know about all of them. Apple, on the other hand, does not have any of the AI features and they don't have the S Pen and Samsung does have the S Pen, which is quite handy in some situations. Both manufacturers have a whole ecosystem of products to sell along their smartphones with computers and headphones and tablets. I do feel more at home in the Apple ecosystem, but that is just a matter of taste. If you are paying a lot of money, you do want the best camera and both of these smartphones are very capable. Let's start with the ultra wide angle. It is very similar for both. Both have 12 megapixel and a similar field of view. The colors are quite nice. Samsung is a little bit more contrasty. They have both a macro mode and both are not that great in poor lighting. By the way, I did take all of these pictures with just point and shoot, so I did not tap on the screen or anything. 
For the main sensor, Apple has 48 megapixel and Samsung 200 megapixel. But if you compare the sharpness in regular pictures, Apple is actually a little bit sharper. It looks more natural in my opinion. But the close focus distance on Samsung is way better. It's like a joke. When using the full 200 megapixel, the S24 Ultra looks sharper than the iPhone. But it does not look like four times as many pixels. The Samsung pictures are more lively, they are brighter and happier, I think they look generally a little bit more fun. The iPhone midtones are a little bit too lifted in my opinion. But the iPhone is very consistent. The S24 Ultra does have a 3x tally, the iPhone does not. It's the worst out of all the focal lengths, but it's better to have one than to need one. Seriously, of course, it is nice to have a 4x zoom, for example, which is sharper on the Samsung. Both smartphones do have a 5x zoom, but Samsung with 50 megapixel, while Apple only has 12 megapixel. This is probably why Samsung's photos are looking a little bit more detailed. It comes out as the clear winner even at 10 times magnification. It is more usable and the contrast is better and also the dynamic range. Both take great videos. I think that the iPhone is a little bit better in that regard. The selfie camera on both is also great. I do prefer the color science of Samsung. It looks a little bit more punchy. Both are capable of taking portrait pictures and nighttime pictures. They are overall great flagship smartphones. If you're buying a big phone, you want a big battery and both of them do have one. Both batteries last forever. I could not empty one in one day. At the evening I had 30 to 40% left. And they are very, very similar. Sometimes one is better than the other, but at the end, in my use case, the S24 Ultra was a tad more endurant. Both have G2 wireless charging, but the iPhone does have MagSafe magnets with the whole ecosystem of accessories. The S24 Ultra, on the other hand, does have reverse wireless charging. Conclusion, both have 256 gigabytes of storage as a minimum and both cost 1,449 euros at the moment. So both are the same price, but the upgrade prices for the storage are cheaper on Samsung's side. But Apple, on the other side, is keeping the value for longer. So if you're selling the phone, you will get more money back. It's not hundreds of euros, but it's a bit. But you can say that Samsung now is supporting seven years of updates. So maybe they will keep the value better in the long run now. Every coin has two sides, I guess. And both of these phones are just great. But if I had to pick one, the S24 Ultra would win this comparison because it just has more features for the price. That does not mean that it is the better phone for everyone. The iPhone is a little bit more compact, a little bit easier in the use, and if you have many other Apple devices, it will feel right at home. But there is one argument I want to make at the end, and that is don't be afraid of switching. If you're used to iOS and you know want to try Android, just go for it. And the other way around as well. Both operating systems are very easy to understand. You will need a couple of days, but you will get used to it. So don't be afraid. That's it for my video. I hope you liked it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.